This is a scale model of Ariel Castro's home. There are four bedrooms, 1,400 square feet, and there's only one bathroom. It was a veritable house of horror. From the basement all the way up to the second floor, Amanda, Michelle, chained up in separate bedrooms. This nondescript house played a huge role in the fact that it could help Ariel Castro in keeping a human prison going. It was all boarded up. The closet doors were nailed to the front windows. So everything was dark. The bolts that held those doors on the wall were sheared off. There was no way they could get at them. And those were even behind plexiglass. Ariel Castro is a really clever man. He had a house, he dressed well, he worked driving a school bus for the city. Everybody knew Ariel Castro. Everybody knew the school bus driver on the street. He would grill outside. On the 4th of July, he would have uh, fireworks. He was friendly, he was outgoing, he was a musician, he played in bands. He was the greatest bass player. Ariel would hear a song and play it like it was on the record. It was actually that simple for Ariel. On the outside, he appeared very normal. He might be the last one you would suspect of wrongdoing. But his personality was weird. Sometimes he would like be joking around with you, and then and another minute he might, might be angry with the whole band. Ariel had no family, and we knew he had kids, but at the time, he was living single. Ariel Castro had a horrible relationship with his first wife. He was extremely violent. Threw her down the stairs, broke her ribs, cracked her skull. He was very intimidating. He was very scary. Like, his voice was mean and deep, and if you ever looked into his eyes, they were like black, like he had no soul. Amanda Berry when she first went missing. Her mother, Luanda Miller, was on the TV pleading for her return. My daughter should not be kept off the news like that. She ain't bad yet. <laughs> but it's just so frustrating living daily. One day seemed like a week, so the week became months, and every day we just passed out flyers. We had thousands of leads throughout Ohio. We searched 200 homes, and we expanded the grid, and we expanded the search to the other side of the state. As remote as it is, there's still hope for the family. You know, every day is hard to see her not walk through that door, not say good morning. My hopes are in there. They're trying to stay as strong as, as can be, but with no answers and not a lead, not a clue, not nothing, that's, that's what's hard because you don't know. The news comes out at like 5, 5.30 now, so day after day, I watched a lot of TV. The holidays are coming and going, and my baby ain't home. So when I would see them on TV, and I'm like, that kept me going. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna make it home to you. As long as you fight, I'm gonna fight. And you're chained to a radiator, I only have, what, about five feet. That was your world. Can you describe what it was like? Going to sleep at night. If you wanted to toss onto your back, you couldn't do that. You would have to take the whole chain and move it to the front of your stomach so that you're not laying on the big lock. The mattress was old and nasty. It was just disgusting. And the bucket to use the bathroom, and that smelled horrible. Amanda was not alone. Just down the hall was Michelle in another room, faring no better, because Ariel Castro controlled every action of these two young women. We were only allowed to take baths maybe once a week, and then once every other week. It all depends on how he felt that day. He tried to act nice, but... He's like, well, maybe you need to go take a shower, and he, I had to take a shower with him. He forced you to take a shower with him? Mm -hmm. He thought that, well, I gave, I gave her that. I deserve this. He used food as a weapon. Amanda said a good day was when she got warm french fries. A bad day was when she got cold french fries. And a worse day was when she got nothing. 
Food was like one of the things that he prolonged. Like I would go a week without food. And when I did get food, it wasn't very much. He was mercurial. Most of the time, he was cruel to them. But every now and then, he would do something special. So I asked for maybe a coloring book and something I can write in a journal or something. I would write if I saw them on the news or how I was feeling that day, if I was angry or mad. So 3X, what does that mean? That it had happened three times. She developed a little code that she would use, and X meant that she had been raped. She would mark 3X, 4X, some days it was 5X. I would always write these numbers at the top of the pages because I felt like, you know, one day maybe authorities will get to read it and he'll be punished for what he did. About a week after my sister was missing, we had a phone call. I have Mandy, which nobody called her Mandy, but who knew her? She wants to be with me, we're married, and I'd have her home in a few days. The caller used Amanda's own cell phone. Ariel Castro called her mother. I mean, how cool is that to do that to somebody? What did you say to him? I said, please, let me talk to her. Let me hear her voice. Just let me know she's there. Let me know she's OK. Silence, and then he hung up on me. And that was the last we heard of anything. The police started trying to track that phone. And that was one of the first cases of trying to track a phone like that. At the time, the technology behind that, it was in the initial stages. The intelligence and the information we have indicated that Amanda's phone was used in about a 30, 40 block area. We spent about a week around the clock in that area, hoping that this phone would be used again. How often did you think you were not going to survive? There was plenty of times when I just never knew, why is he keeping me here? Like, I didn't know if one day we were gonna be murdered or he wanted more girls in the house. Like, what was he gonna do to us? The community is frazzled. The last thing it needs is another disappearance. And that's exactly what would happen. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.